might be surprised why I'm wearing so many hats today. It's because I'm an entrepreneur. And as entrepreneurs, we wear these hats every single day of our entire lives. All right, my name is Prosper. If this is the first time you've ever encountered a lunch and learn, I swear to God, this is not what happens all the time, but I just needed to make a statement so that you get to know what it is that we talk about. Now, I'm the founder and owner. This is going to be too heavy, but I hope my, my message gets clear. As an entrepreneur, we're wearing so many hats, and what we're talking about today is how you can help those that are around us to actually help you wear those hats and be very, very efficient. Um, this is going to be a little bit too heavy, but I'm going to try and see how long I can stay there. Tina, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. Do you see how many hats an entrepreneur works? I'm just really trying to bring out a message right here. Okay, so let me take this away. Oh, right. And Nicole, you found me with so many hats. I'm just explaining how entrepreneurs wear so many hats. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to have to take this away. Hang in there, guys. Cool. Now back to reality. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Prosper and I'm the founder and CEO of a digital company called Live Long Digital where we help people, um, you know, like yourself to market, scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Angie says they wear a ton. Exactly. I love my hats. But guys, today's show, if this is the first time you're tuning in, you really, really need to pay attention because I want to speak to the people that are around you. So I'm going to speak to your spouse, your boyfriend, your mother, your father, your uncle, everybody else that's in and around your periphery that would definitely help you to start scale and grow your business it's not going to be a one um, person thing to do it's going to be very very difficult and as i can um, testify i'm married and i've got a two-year-old girl and you gotta have the work-life balance and the people that are not entrepreneurs in your life First of all, they need to watch this video today. And second of all, you need to make them understand what it is, how it feels, what you go through, how many hats you wear, and how they can be of help so that your business actually works, all right? The whole thing that we're trying to do at the end of the day is to help those that are around us to have a better life, to have a better existence, and to have a life that's worth living. But if they don't understand that part, if they don't understand how many hats you have to wear, how awkward you look every single day online trying to make something out of your life, how you have to look like you are stupid, how to look like you are insane, because other people don't understand you, you need them to understand what it is exactly that you do and how they can be of help. Every single person around us needs to know what you're doing so they can talk about you at the barbecue. They need to talk about how they can position you in front of other people without you know, you burning out all the time because we're leaving a lot of money on the table because we are not involving our spouses, we're not involving our mothers, we're not involving our parents and knowing what exactly we're doing because all we want to do is just to become a success and then they become part of the story, all right? In as much as I can testify, you watching this right now, you probably have family that doesn't understand what you do. You probably have a, a spouse that doesn't understand what you do. How are they going to talk about you at the barbecue? How are they going to talk about what you do? Or how are they going to be proud about what you actually do when you don't mention to them how they can be of help? I know Trish... And me have been going uh, um, back and forth and, you know, uh, we, we sort of know each other by now. Um, you've got a daughter that, you know, has just graduated as a, um, a, a law student. You probably were helping her reach to that, um, you know, reach to that height. But what if she's learning something at school right now that would help you with a client, with a legal matter or something like that? We need to teach and you know train the people that are around us to be able to support us 
They're going to be our walking billboards wherever they go to, 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 to meet other people that are not within our periphery. Okay, Jeremy, how's it going, man? Thanks so much for tuning in. All right. So like I was saying, I'm married and um, you hardly ever see my wife because she likes to, um, you know, live her private life. But she helps me a lot behind the scenes. Behind every person, there's going to be a lot more other people that you don't see in front. I have a team behind me. I've got my wife and every single day she's looking after the little girl so that I don't have to. And then I concentrate on serving the clients, etc, etc. Okay, so if you saw a little bit earlier on, if you're running your business, you're going to be expected to be the janitor of your company. You're going to be expected to be the content creator. You're going to be expected to be the accountant. You're going to be expected to be the designer. You're going to be expected to be the funnel hacker. Every single thing you need to be the one that is doing it. Okay. And Nevin says, make sure you come down for dad's group. Of course I do every Saturday, man. <laughs> you know that. All right. So what I'm just trying to say is we need to train and teach the people around us to be able to support us. The fact that they don't know what you do, the fact that they don't know how they can be able to help, it's going to be difficult for them to know what to do. You are always frustrated. You're always looking on your computer. You're not turning back. Your kids are growing up and all they know is the back of your head. All right. You need to get them to understand what daddy is doing. You need to get them to understand what mommy is doing. And Nikki, cheers for tuning in. Probably this is your first lunch and learn. Okay. So also this video is dedicated to the spouses of those that have entrepreneurs within their family. You know, as a spouse of an entrepreneur, guys, you are sometimes feeling like you are being left out. But what you don't realize is your husband or your wife is not just chatting to people online. Your husband or your wife is not just talking to people that are not going to help you and your family get better in the future. All right. So, you know, sometimes we might just get too caught up in what we're doing and just be so selfish instead of trying to help the people that are going to help us in the future. I can understand where we are right now in life. People don't understand this whole premise of being an entrepreneur. People know what they have been taught that you have to grow up, work for somebody, pay your bills, and then you die. All right. It is a blessing and it is an anomaly that you are sitting here, you know, building something that's going to help the rest of your family. You need to let them know. All right. So as an entrepreneur, I know you're going to be playing a lot of roles, you know, from what your company needs and what needs to get done. All right. You need to get them to understand that you can't come to that barbecue this weekend. You know why? Because you've got your future to look after. All right. And they need to understand that they are a part of that future, too. That way they feel motivated to want to help you. All right. So those that have spouses that are not being supportive, the reason is probably you probably have not mentioned to them what it is that you, you expect off of them. And also find out what's happening within their life so that you can also help them with your expertise that you've learned, you know, your people skills and all that stuff. Because what you know as an entrepreneur, people out there do not understand, do not know why you do what you're doing. And that's the reason why they cannot come around and want to help you, um, you know, figure out what it is that you're doing. Right? As an entrepreneur, I don't want to lie to you guys. I attend a lot of parties, meetings, events that I can not count. You know what I mean? I've written and edited a lot of content blogs and websites and articles. And I can imagine when I sit back and, and eat ice cream with my wife and she's talking about my daughter's nappy. I shouldn't ignore that. And she should also understand that at that particular moment, I'm just taking a breather so that I'm coming to be with the people that I'm actually doing all of this for. So it's that communication that you really need to put together. And the reason why I'm saying this is you won't succeed if the people that are behind you or the people that are around you are not supporting you. That's just something that a lot of people are not understanding. The reason why I'm so fired up about this topic today is I was talking to a friend of mine 
who is slowly becoming a client and he wants to start a passion business where he's going to be helping, um, you know, other parents really help their kids, um, you know, find the greatness within them. So that's something he has to really put together. It's going to be um, um, an info product. He's going to have to talk about it. He's going to have to master that topic. And what does that entail? It entails him to take himself away from his family for a little bit so that he comes back as an expert. He comes back knowing how to treat his clients. He comes back knowing, you know, what is expected off of him. All right. But you know what his biggest, um, you know, objection was? Oh, I'm afraid my wife is not going to like me not being around 24 seven. Okay, that's fine. You're going to be there or you just need to explain to them what's going to happen and how they're going to benefit. Nobody who really, really cares about you is not going to want to see you do great things that you're really passionate about. We are not doing our jobs as entrepreneurs in explaining and enlightening the people that are around us. First of all, to know exactly what it is that we're doing and why they should support us. All right. So it's just one of those things, you know, if, if you're, you know, dating an entrepreneur, listen to what it is that is going on in their heads and try to make sure that you are also understanding the, the effects it takes for somebody to go out of his comfort zone. You know, you see, if you're not listening or if you're not paying attention to the people around you, you're going to miss out on your kids growing up. You're going to miss out on weddings or things like that. But you should understand that it's OK. You need to just let them know that you are in it for them and you're going to help them be, do and have whatever they want in the future. And if you have people that are not understanding what you're doing, I urge you to help them understand, help them to listen, talk about what you do as often as possible. You know, part of being an entrepreneur is usually to seek validation from people that wouldn't understand what your product is. And if they don't get it, unless they're really, really dumb, then that means your product needs a bit of work. If the people around you do not understand what you're selling, they're not going to be able to help you sell it. So part of being an entrepreneur, guys, is really seeking validation for a product or a service and, you know, an idea that you might have. And you may need to serve, you know, people, you might need people around you to be a sounding board so that you're not insane by yourself. So you need to teach the people that are around you to be able to listen so that you can then sound off with them and see if your idea is going to be lucrative in the market. All right. And for those people, you need to teach them to be very, very flexible. The fact that you are filling up many roles and then you keep doing things, you know, that they don't understand why you're doing it and you don't have anything to show for it. Right. That's what's happening in a lot of families right now. You might not have anything to show for it. You need to teach them not to get too overwhelmed with your busyness, because what you're creating is something that will help them in the future. All right. So, you know, you will have a chance to do um, some some one on one with them. Please do not forego such an opportunity that you might have to, you know, explain how you are, um, you know, hoping to help the family and how you're going to be able to serve. The reason being, you might be invited to a party or you might be invited to go somewhere else um, in, um, you know, you know, in your entrepreneurial journey. And if they are not in sync with where you are already in your business, it might just look like you are a high sounding nothing. Because people would respect maybe your wife or your spouse, you know what I mean? And, and then they would find out if you are in control with the way or how your wife responds. So you need to teach them to be able and be ready for when that time arrives. Do you know what I mean? So maybe you might host a big party on your launch or something like that. And you have people in the corner that are your relatives, but they don't even understand why they're there. Right, because you haven't taken the time as an entrepreneur to educate them on what to expect and how their lives are going to change.
All right. So be willing to support them as an entrepreneur and they should also be willing to support you in any situation. And this will definitely help your relationships, your marriage to become a lot more successful. Because what I realize a lot is many, many relationships, you know, will go sour. You know why? Because you feel like the people around you are not supporting you. But be patient. Learn them. I mean, get to teach them exactly what it is that you're doing and get them to understand and get them to help you get to where you want to be. All right. You also got to be really patient with them because they're not wired in the same way as you are. All right. You can see something right now and already make, you know, adjustments and you can limp because you know what? You already came out of your comfort zone. Some people around us are still really, really happy to be comfortable. All right. So sometimes business might not work out. You know, you got to be really patient in, in, in explaining to them that it, it will happen. Do you know what I mean? Because the more you don't tell them, they're just going to fixate on the stuff that's not working. When you know that something is happening within your business, just keep sending back the feedback. All right. Because it's really, really important to know what is happening in each other's lives so that you can keep the spark between you guys and then help and use those relationships in the future for when you need them for leverage. All right. So you need to share with them your highs, your lows, your successes, your failures, and not just, you know, show them the bad side because that's all they get to see. When you're excited, share that excitement with them. When something is happening within your business, let them know that you've just gotten a new client. Let them know the process of what it takes to get a client so that they can appreciate it and be as excited when you do get a client the next time. And guess what? Once they know what the process is like, first of all, they become patient. And second of all, they can actually help you. Because the people that are around us also know other people that might be our potential clients. But since we're just sitting here and trying to work on our business, we're not really going out and, you know, uh, prospecting in a way that maybe your relative or your uncle or your dad knows some people at the pub. All right. So at the end of the day, you shouldn't expect them to go along with what you're doing, but they should at least know what's going on. And if you're a spouse of somebody who is an entrepreneur right now, you also have to help your spouse to relax a little bit. You know, you need to help them to just let go and not think about work all the time, you know, because he or she doesn't really need to be doing everything. If it's marketing, that's keeping them awake. Tell them prosper can help you with your marketing, right? So, you know, I sometimes have to, you know, maybe <laughs> force my wife to, uh, you know, you know, help me to take me away from this chair and, you know, go for a walk or something. Otherwise I would burn out. So you also need to teach them the cues of when they can tell when you're getting stressed or when things are not really working to come and fish you out and just, you know, give you a pattern break. Guys, we're wearing so many hats and if we're not also really fostering the relationships around us, we will burn out a lot. And when that happens, you've lost that connection with the people that are around you. You've lost connection with your clients. You've lost connection with your kids. Then what was it all good for? Do you know what I mean? So that's why sometimes I do a pattern break here and there and I'm like, you know what? You really need to figure out the things that actually make you happy and then just go out there and do some of that. Because the more you don't teach the people around you what it is that you do, how you do it and who you do it for, you will burn out because you're going to feel like they're resisting your, 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 your path or they're resisting your progress. But they just don't understand your duty as a entrepreneur is to sell them your idea so that they are on board with you too. All right. So sometimes you, we also forget to eat as entrepreneurs. You need to, you know, remind the people around you that if they haven't heard you talk or cough or anything to knock on your door and find out if you're okay. You know, <laughs> sometimes I forget to eat 24 seven and my wife comes in and it's just like, oh, would you like a coffee or would you like some water or anything? 
You know, sometimes I'd work 24 hours straight without even raising from this desk, guys, you know, and, and then, you know, if you have people that are managing your meals, first of all, it makes it very efficient for you so that you get work done and you don't have to worry about a sandwich. But I'm not saying that you play games online and then just order sandwiches from your wife or your husband, you know, just because, you know, you're sitting on the computer then, all right? So you... In order for you to function as an entrepreneur, you need to constantly feed and you need to eat healthy stuff. And sometimes this actually involves getting people to make it for you because you know why? You are back to back with calls. You need to train those people around you to get the cues of when you need to eat. Because otherwise you, <laughs> you're going to be like Miss Havisham in your office and nobody's going to realize that you're not there because you're never around. You know, so sometimes if this is very difficult, how you can train them is you can rise a little bit earlier than everybody else and prepare lunch for everyone, you know, and then you probably just need to do it once. And once they realize that this needs to be done at this time, they will learn and then they'll continuously do it for you. All right. So pretty much you just got to really maintain and keep the big picture because most people and if you really notice all the rich people out there, the people that are actually with a spouse or a partner or somebody that really is the comforter for them. It's a battlefield out here, guys. It's not easy. Sometimes some people make it look easy. You know, Elon Musk or, um, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk or whoever. But when you're out there and you're on the battlefield, there's battle wounds. People are trying to kill you. Everybody's trying to take your job. You need these people around you. And maybe that's the reason why a lot of your stuff is not working right now because the people that you have within your vicinity, your spouse, your kids, they are not aligned with your mission. And when a lot of things are not aligned in the universe, the universe thinks it's the wrong person to be taking on those things. All right. So as entrepreneurs, I know we can all be just really be focused on the money or focused on wearing as many hats as possible. But you know what? Your wife can type for you. Your wife can call some some clients. You know, your brother can can, you know, you know, you know, get your money back from people that are not paying you. Stop wearing all these hats. You know, maybe the people around you have a way of helping you out, you know, but you're not just letting them into your periphery. All right. So it's something that either you're not doing or the people that are around you are not doing. You know, I know you care about what you're doing so much, but don't forget the people that you're doing this for. You should always be there and remind them how lucky they are and how, you know, remind them how lucky you are to have them. You know why? Because some people don't have families that can actually help them create this wonderful business that we're creating or meet all those people that you're meeting every single day. They just need that little pat on the back and that little acknowledgement and they will let you be. Because the reason why they're probably saying you shouldn't be doing this is because they don't understand what it is that you're actually trying to do. You know, so they will be the ones that then bring you back to earth and be like, you know what? You need to do this. You need to do that. I don't know why I spoke about this today. Me and my girl, we're fantastic. But I just know after having spoken to a few other entrepreneurs, if you focus a lot on your business, sometimes we forget the relationships that are working around us. All right. So all you got to do, if you really want to be wor working with people around you, figure out what your strengths are and, you know, just respect them enough to ask them for little favors. So that, you know, they know that they're also needed. Because once we become entrepreneurs, you know what we do? We think we're above everyone. We think everybody else that goes to a job is a nobody. We actually start thinking that they are wasting their lives doing whatever they're doing. Which is not right. People are different. We all have different human strengths. And people, you know, as an entrepreneur, you should actually know how to manage people's emotions. You know how to manage people's effectiveness. You know why? Because... They are also a representative of how your customers think about your work. All right. So, you know, if you look at my wife, I'm 
crap when it comes to numbers. I'm crap when it comes to organizing or my diary. I forget a lot of things. And she puts it all together for me and then, you know, reminds me of meetings I'm supposed to be going, etc., etc. Or maybe it's because I'm, I'm, that's the only time I get to leave the house. But, you know, she's on top of things like that. You know, we often joke that, you know, taken together, we're almost like a complete executive. Because then she compliments me of the things that, you know, I'm not capable of doing together. I mean, by myself. So when, you know, having different strengths makes, makes us a little bit more compatible, you know what I mean? And our goals are aligned together, you know why? Because we're working towards, um, you know, something that's going to be meaningful for the rest of our lives. You see, you can't be a team when you're on different goals. You know what I mean? So you want to bring those people that are around you. They are always there. And you know what they say? You're an average of the five people you hang around yourself. Don't kid yourself and think that, you know, because you watch Warren Buffett or because you watch Gary V, he's part of the five. Those people that are constantly in your face, you're seeing them, you're eating with them. They're the ones that are also part of that five. So like I said, you can't win if your team is not playing on your side. You know what I mean? Um, you got to make sure that they align with your goals and then they're helping you also figure it out. See, your willingness to actually work hard and, you know, go along with the ambition factor is very essential to actually be on the same level as those people that are in the same environment as you. Without it, you know, partners can become very resentful and, you know, when one partner has more ambition than the other, you know, they may feel like the other person is not carrying his or her own weight and that will cause a lot of stress. Do you know what I mean? We're supposed to be building, not destroying, you know what I mean, as entrepreneurs. So while they are the lesser ambitious partner, they may find it very difficult to support them, the over ambitious one, because they don't know how they fit in or where they are needed within that whole ecosystem. So you got to have respect for those that are around you. Let them know where you're going, where you're headed. And, you know, it's, it's just going to help you relax. When the world out there, the people that you're trying to please are not buying from you, you just go in and you hug your wife or your, your partner or your husband and everything will be okay. You come back and you're fully fired and ready to go. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what level they're at, but there are people that are going to be there for you, so you need to look after them. You got to respect them as other human beings as well. Because it is, we start to trust them. They trust us and then they'll let us do whatever we want. All right. So, you know, if you're not willing to give your partner, you know, the benefit of the doubt, then they probably are not going to understand what your actions are. And they'll just assume that you are out there to ruin everything for them. All right. So it, it is going to help you in the long run to actually cherish the relationships. In Africa, we've got a statement saying charity begins at home. You cannot present yourself as somebody that's doing well or being well when home is at war. All right. So all that people can notice that things, things are not working or something ain't right. At the end of the day, guys, we're here to actually help each other grow and um, help each other, you know, build businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. And the reason why we do it is, is particularly for yourself. You have your why, and a lot of people, their why is usually their family. Their why is usually their kids. But if you're not gonna be doing your part in explaining to them why daddy cannot go and play, you know, hopscotch now, but you will have the rest of your life to play that, they need to understand why that is so they can put their own interpretation to what you're doing. And then it makes a lot of sense for you. I guarantee you, you're going to be the happiest you will ever be. My um, little girl is two right now. She's sleeping because it's nap time. Usually we've made it out. We've calculated the day so that at two o'clock she gets to nap so that she doesn't walk in here. But... Half of the time, I'm spending most of the time in between calls with her and, and, and you know, letting her know what's going to happen, you know? So we should consider those that are around us because you know why? They're going to make us win. You can't go out looking for, you know, gratification from people that don't know you when at home things are not working out.
All right. So just make sure you've got honest communication with those people that are around you and avoid any conflict, whatever, because you know why you are out there in the trenches. They are at home comfortable. Don't bring out the negativity from where you're coming from back home. It's the same sort of reciprocity. I can't even say this word. The same sort of, um, you know, pr procedure. So just make sure the people that are at home, the more you are comfortable in what you're doing and support with those that are around you, the better your work is going to look, the better your smile is going to be on the market and the better the money you're going to make. We're an average of the amount of value we bring to the market. And if your family is not helping you bring out the value, you need to help them. It's not their fault. They don't understand what you're doing. All right. I really hope this one was a good one for you. If you have watched this up to this end, thank you so much. And you can also get your spouse or your partner to watch this so that they can understand what you're going through if you can't explain it for yourself. All right. You're not out there to, to hurt nobody. You're just doing it for them. They just need to be a little bit patient and they just need to know that this is all for them. All right. In the meantime, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully it's going to be a fantastic one again.